We so built a computer vision based color um, based counting so we can, like, sorter, sorter mm -hmm. which counts candy of uh, various colors based on um, their color and connectivity. So yeah, so the, the motivating example behind what we're doing is uh, in typical manufacturing plants, um, a human usually needs to like visually identify products that weren't manufactured correctly. So like, for example, burnt potato chips are black versus golden brown. Um, so the idea behind this is that instead of using, for example, potato chips, we're using sprees and by being able to identify different colors of sprees and count how Hold many, up some. Yeah, uh, count how many sprees have gone through our system, um, we can eliminate the need for, say, a human to visually identify which ones are say, defective. So, for example, if you imagine all of the orange sprees as defective, we can count how many total defective sprees have been manufactured by our fake <laughs> uh, assembly line. Okay. And the so, and the fake assembly line here is a bright light source to avoid shadows, yes. and then and then a paper. Based conveyor, conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Yeah. Very, very yeah. cool. And then we have a camera mounted up top, pointing directly down at a brightly lit section of the conveyor belt. Um, the conveyor belt is controlled with through the FPGA GA GPIO port with PWM. And that goes up to a little opto isolator and then to a servo motor down here. Burning out the GPIO pins. Yeah, good, good plan. And then, and then the the, the diagnostic uh, readout is up here on the screen. The text is generated by the HPS, and the image is generated by the yep. FPGA. Correct. So how we start our um, our system is when we run the program, the there's a prompt on the screen that asks you to recalibrate your the colors that you want. So since we know that there's different lighting conditions and different um, variances between each variations, sorry, between each uh, spree, we start by, say, uh, calibrating each spree for each run so we get those variations every time. Oh, have you seen the bad spree? Uh, so, for example, oh, you can. So this is our red spree, it's the first spree we're calibrating. Um, I can just explain what's on the display really quickly because there's three images. So top left is the raw video feed. Okay, top left is raw video. <laughs> um, top right is the color thresholded image. So uh, what the FPG recognizes ad as red pixels. And then the bottom right is the processed image where we do two algorithms on the color thresholded image to try and eliminate any unwanted connections or unwanted gaps. So it fills up image. all the holes on the top, as you right. can see, with a solid chunk. Yes. So you're doing a dilate in a road? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. And that's, and that, and the, the parallel, the algorithm, the uh, image processing is going on the FPGA as fast as possible. Correct. Right. Yeah, okay. So it's about yes. a speed up of five to 10 times over what can be done on the HPS. Okay. So that's to achieve real time. Okay. Video. So, uh, in order to calibrate our system, we place our spree or whatever object we want uh, to over. There's a green kind of crosshair on the raw video feed, um, and then we just simply press a button on the FPGA, and it pr provides a much better image uh, that's cal well calibrated. Um, and we simply kind of just do this with all the different colors. So, green. So okay. Run the run the belt. Yeah. So now we can actually control the speed of the belt um, from our system, but usually we just run it at a predetermined speed, uh, and then we turn on the power supply and 
about runs. Um, so just as a proof of concept, uh, we just put one, say purple three, over it. It tracks the purple three. <laughs> and then... And it says that one was manufactured. Yep. So bot the manufactured means how many have gone through our system, and on screen is just how many are visible to the camera at the current. And so this is another time. purple. Right. So input a lot more multiple sprees. So the idea is you can put as many sprees as you want on the belt and it pretty much should track all the sprees that go through. And it is. It's counting pretty reliably. And there they go off into the bin. Yep. <laughs> That's a very cool system. I, I, mean, I could tell there's a lot of picky work in this, as well as theoretical work. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to calibrate all those different right. numbers. Right. So Everything depends on that initial color thresholding, yep. and so if there's any variation in the lighting or the height of our conveyor belt or anything, then it just kind of throws off the rest right. of so the which process. Which could be spun in a good way because you have a, a model object, and so if you have any different variations in it, uh, right. it should okay. see those. Yeah. Okay, thank you.